Cool. And if I am a recently appointed leader of an organization, getting to grips with the culture, um, what steps can I take to ensure or to promote an environment in which failure is discussed and where people are more likely to learn from failure and setbacks? I think the first thing to say, any leader does not want to be discussing this fundamentally. You know, we want to be focusing on the success, right? Uh, so I wouldn't be starting my conversation in a new organization saying, I, I, I really want to discuss failure with you. So let, let's be clear that uh, that's not the starting point. What I think allows a culture to discuss and openly talk about failure is where that culture does already exist. It's, it's kind of hard to move from A to Z in, in one step because people will not trust it. That's the first thing. Organizations are cautious, careful, and conservative, generally speaking. So if you announce that you know, failure is kind of all right around here. We want to talk about it. That's going to be met with healthy skepticism, I would suggest, in an organization. You have to do this little bit, step at a time. And it starts with conversations. And it starts with conversations early on, ideally before you get to a significant failure, but ensuring that there's appropriate discussion about the direction of travel, which could result in failure, and getting in there early to ensure we prevent it. That means people have to be able to talk up the organization. That in many organizations is clear and it happens. Where it doesn't happen, that's where you have to bring this about. You have to change a top-down organization into one where you can debate and discuss and can course correct, which will help you avoid significant failures. So that's at, a, at an individual, individual and therefore a, a cultural level. But I think the second, and by the way, that will take time because people have to trust, but they're not immediately going to trust most. The second thing I would do is where there has been some failure, do some deep dives on it and make it absolutely clear this is not about finding the faults and who the people are but actually to understand what we need to do differently to avoid future failures. That, I think, is very healthy. That, I think, is very practical. And, by the way, that will reinforce the cultural shift because we're talking about it. You're not firing five people as a result. And life goes on, and hopefully we've improved our processes, our practices, and, and so on. So I think those would be two very tangible things to begin to build an organization where you can d debate and discuss these setbacks, let's call them setbacks rather than fundamental failures, but you cannot separate out failure altogether because if somebody does something which is catastrophic to the effectiveness or the success of the firm, that also has to be treated appropriately. And it's not about excusing failure, it's about the accountability and holding people accountable, I think is, absolutely critical to both avoiding failure and when there is failure, then we know what we have to deal with.